To that amazing story of survival, a woman with Tampa ties back with loved ones tonight, recovering after spending 17 days missing. Amanda Eller was lost in a forest in Hawaii, and many people started to lose hope as she continued to cling to life. News Channel 8's Marco Villarreal begins our team coverage tonight. As you can imagine how hard this must be to go through this process, but Amanda Eller's family and friends say they knew she was alive. They could feel her in their hearts. Miracles do happen, and they're here today. A mother is all smiles after reuniting with her daughter, Amanda Eller, missing for two weeks, lost in the Macau Forest in Maui. Search parties of volunteers filled the area for days looking for Amanda. The mother saying her daughter went for a three-mile hike, stopped to meditate and nap, and when she woke up, was disoriented, unable to find her car. The last 17 days of my life have been the toughest days of my life. Losing her shoes in a flash flood, rescuers finally found her in a ravine by a waterfall. She survived off fruits from the trees and drinking water. Her only injuries, sunburn to her shins and a fracture on one of her legs. Believe it or not, I was expecting to see more. You know, you'd expect to see, you know, electrolyte imbalance, severely dehydrated. None of that. Amazingly, she looks great. Amanda calls this experience a moment of greater purpose. This is an answer. Bringing people from all over the world together in prayer. Tens of thousands of dollars donated to the rescue effort. People have been so generous. And, you know, with the volunteer effort like we, what we have, it allowed us to, to, uh, to rent helicopters. Seeing the way that the community of Maui came together, people that know me, people that don't know me, all came together just under the idea of helping one person make it out of the woods alive. It just warms my heart. And we are told that Amanda has a clear vision of her future. She wants to open up a wellness center where she can use her physical therapy and yoga skills to help people. In the newsroom, Marco Villarreal, News Channel 8. And our team coverage continues of this incredible story out of Maui right now. Nikki Shenfeld from our sister station KHON joining us now to tell us more about this rescue. Nikki, thanks for joining us. And what can you tell us about the group who rescued Amanda Eller out there today? Yeah, the three men, Troy, Chris, and uh, Javier, they have really been part of this rescue mission since the very, very beginning. In fact, they took a private helicopter up to go look for her yesterday, and they were able to afford that helicopter through the GoFundMe page that was started on the Find Amanda Facebook page, which is incredible. They raised $75,000 to do that, and they decided to go through the very rugged area near Hana, an area called Kay and I. In fact, they were almost running out of fuel. They had about 15 to 20 minutes left in their flight. They decided to go left instead of right. And lo and behold, they saw her just standing there, waving her hands up in the air. They couldn't believe it. The area was very rugged, of course, so they had to do a little turnaround. And I'm sure that feeling for Amanda thinking, oh my gosh, this helicopter is flying away from me, which actually did happen 20 times in her 17 days. Uh, wow. But once they flew back, they said she knew that they were coming for her and they landed. They called Air One and uh, the Maui Fire Department came over as backup. What were the conditions like where she was found? I mean, you mentioned that, it, that the helicopters flew past her 20 times, so they clearly just didn't see her. Correct. This area is one of the rescuers who is very familiar with the area said this was the worst gulch she could actually be stuck in. He knows the area very, very well, but it's so prone to flash flooding and it rains a lot in that area. But they said if she were to jump down into the next ravine, there was no way that they were going to be able to find her because it was a 70 foot waterfall that she would have been jumping into that would have just taken her out of sight. But it's a very rugged area, lots of trees, l lots of mud, debris. It's it's very dangerous and a lot of people have been rescued going um, off the beaten path. Yeah, what an incredible story. Nikki, thank you so much for that report from our sister station, KHON. We really appreciate it, Nikki. Thank you.